My name is Allison Nadaval, and I'm Conference Services Manager here at the Fairmont. My name is Matthew Lehman, I'm the Director of Food and Beverage. Uh, my name is Jacqueline Bayless, and I do public relations at Fairmont Miramar. I'm Ray Garcia, I'm the Executive Chef at Fig Restaurant here in Santa Monica. My name is Becky Posternak, I'm the Director of Catering and Conference Services here at the Miramar. What do I do? I plan parties. That's what I do here, and it's what I love to do. I basically do all of the pre-planning. I plan their menu, I block their meeting space, I handle um, all of their room reservations. I'm responsible for the food and beverage half of the hotel operation. With my job, I handle the shoots on property. If it's high fashion, if it's camera interviews with celebrities, if it's shows, we've done a few large shows here. I came in and I, and I, I committed to, to my vision of, of uh, a fig and I want to see it as a, as a bistro, but something that really celebrated what is, is great about California. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I've lived out here now for four years. It's probably the greatest place to live. I am from Indiana. I went to school at Purdue University and I decided that I wanted to move to California, find new opportunities, meet new people. So that was two years ago and here I am. I'm 33 years old. I'm originally from the East Coast. I've been out here for about a decade. Uh, I have a lovely wife and an adorable six-month-old daughter. I've been here in Los Angeles my entire life. If you had asked me in March, when I was in college, what I would be doing in June, and you would have told me that I would be living in Los Angeles, I would have laughed and been like, no way. Do yourself a favor and pack your bags. So I try very hard to just let life play out, and I find it a little more fun that way, that's obviously very hard to do. Um, I never really grew up wanting to be a, a chef, and that restaurant life just kind of uh, drew me in, and you know, the sights, the sounds, the smells, the hours. I always wanted to work in hotels. I'm always learning different things each day. I always worked in the kitchens with my father, and we owned restaurants, and I realized what I really wanted to do was cater, plan parties do more large events. You know, I started off in uh, in hotels. I spent about seven years there. Um, I worked my way up from you know, the bottom of the bottom. This hotel is so different than any other hotel I've worked with. Everybody's willing to help. Our banquet staff is absolutely amazing. Chef Ray and I have worked together in the past. We are friends on a personal level. I mean, he's the godfather of my child, for goodness sake. So fortunately, I have a terrific team of people I work with uh, all over the hotel. My goal for my team is I want them to feel like they did a good job and that they're growing here and that they're making steps towards their future and I want to play part in them getting there. The goal is to make this property really stand out. Santa Monica is really kind of a city within a city. Los Angeles is so close. You have Beverly Hills just a few miles away. With the beach, the great weather, the great views, there's really something for everyone. Los Angeles is full of, of temptations and, and you can be whoever you want here, but I think you have to be careful who you decide to be. You do know going in that it's going to be something interesting. It's usually going to be something exciting. I really don't think there is such a thing as a crazy request. Our guests want things and they turn to us to provide them for them. And if it wasn't for them and their wants, we wouldn't be here. I do work very long hours. Typical week, 8 o'clock. Sometimes I'm here till 7 with events. It's pretty much crazy every day. Typical week is uh, usually about six days, uh, sometimes seven, uh, usually 12 to 15 hours a day. And you have to have a very tolerant life, which I'm fortunate to have. From the minute I walk in to the minute I leave, I am busy. So it's not a slow paced environment. It's me like boom, boom, boom. I'm always working seven days a week, you know, uh, 30, 31 days out of, the, out of the month. August, September, October were very busy months for me. My boyfriend and I, we've been together for eight years. Our relationship is extremely strong. I think right now um, it's good that I'm busy at work because I know that he's putting a lot of time into producing his movies. I was in a serious relationship in college. He ended things to, to focus on his career. And I think that you know, it sounds so melodramatic now that I'm 24, but at the time, obviously, it was very hard. I think the job had a huge impact on my relationship, at least from his perspective. Maybe I didn't realize it at the time, but I don't necessarily think I came off as the most gracious person. I was just boom, 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 got to get it done. I, I've tried dating in Los Angeles. That's 
that's a whole nother show. <laughs> I'm also fortunate I have a wife who grew up with this. Her father was a hotelier and, and so she has her mother to turn to as a resource and that allows her to be far more understanding than I think most uh, wives would be in this case. In the restaurant, in the hotel business, there's it, it, it never stays the same. There's always an emergency. There's always something that happens, you know. People call in sick, people cut their hands, people burn stuff, people drop stuff. There's no typical week, which is probably what keeps me here because um, my attention span is not always <laughs> there. It, it could be a struggle at times, but uh, the truth is those of us that do this tend to love it. You have to love it to do it. The first you know, the thing you learn when you start in this industry uh, is that it's only for people that absolutely love it because there's no other way you can pretend to do what we have to do to make it successful. It's a different lifestyle. You're always on. You have to always be on and you have to always be available. This is the major leagues. I mean, especially in the last couple of years, um, LA has really grown up as a food city. And, and it's tough and it's a fight for cooks and it's a fight for, you know, guests and it's, you know, it's a, a fight to stay at the, at the top. But, you know, if you're not staying at the top of their game and you're not staying one step ahead of them, you're, you're going to go out of business. You know, I think as I've learned more in my role, I've also learned how to not take things so personally. This is not my life. I, I think it was my life and then I learned that you can't make any one thing your life. You have to be able to, to suck it up and, and you know, play through the pain uh, and, and grind through. And The challenge that, that that takes, you know, starting somewhere and taking yourself to number one is, is an exciting opportunity. And, but you have to realize that everyone's always gunning for number one, so it's key that we stay on our toes and keep pushing ourselves to, to make that, uh, you know, what's gotten us here make that even better. You kind of just have to go with the flow and, and relax a little. I discovered a long time ago when I was very new at this business uh, that if you worry about where you want to go or where you think you should be, you're never going to be good where you are. So I get up every day and I try to do the best I can here. I'm ready for the challenge and I know what to expect and I'm good at it. So that combination. You just say, I'm going to cook the best damn food that I can do and keep getting better and better and better and next thing you know you're going to have those accolades, you're going to have guests coming in. Being number one and being there for a long time, you lose your edge and we have our edge. And you can feel it when you walk in this building. Who knows what could happen in the future, that's the exciting part. I don't know where there is uh, and the beauty of our business is that you can never know it all. There's always new food to try, new cuisine to explore, new wines to taste a different kind of event to host, another you know, great group of people to meet and, and work with. And that's what really makes it exciting. So who knows where there may be.